What is going on? YouTube world. Uh, long overdue video. <clears throat> I want to sort of showcase the year that was in uh, Bobby Abreu. Just because it was pretty much my banner year. This was literally... And again, it's not like he's got grail after grail out there. There's still a couple cards I'd like to get. I think it's like the Leaf Rookies and Stars 98. Uh, longevity. And then the, the Hollow Foil one. Um, i trying to think what else there's uh, out there. <clears throat> again, <clears throat> some one ones That's it. And again, those are ones that if they show up, they show up. If they don't, I'm beyond excited to have uh what i've got in my collection i think i've got a super rave or two i don't know that might be one that i'd like to get but 2020 for the abreu collection was nuts i got all these plus more <clears throat> i'm gonna go through top 25 it's actually 26 because i couldn't decide on the last one my video my rules these two tied at 25. Uh, <clears throat> the, the Platinum Blue. And then the Donruss Production Line. Black. So... I love this one. It's got it's that see through. It's the acetate. Number to sixty seven in the production line. One character out in I think it's Pennsylvania sold <coughs> most of his stuff this year. Perfect world. I would have got everything for five bucks. That was his opening bid. A lot of other guys got in. So I lost some stuff I wanted, but at the same time, the stuff that they didn't uh, bid on, it was cataclysmic for them, because again, even if he gets in the Hall of Fame, I know a lot of stuff they want to have, Phillies stuff. The stuff with the Astros is, is rookie year stuff, and stuff, I don't know if I got, if I brought one up, because I know that's one I got this year too, is a... Not in here. <clears throat> but I got a Bowman's Best, another one, uh, the Refractor. So I think I got two or three of the Refractor rookies. Ed Wesker Griff, uh, gifted me a thing of BGS ugh, eight and a half or a nine. I must say Mike O might have got, he got me an auto over you. So I mean, <clears throat> even though I'm not a Philly guy, I am a Phillies guy. That's my favorite team by far for the 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 baseball specter so not a rare one here so i thank them again too i thank them in the videos but i thank them again because that's built up those relationships this year too it's the y-axis die cut fractal matrix of 97 leaf here's an auto out of 2003 donruss champions hollow foil and i you yearn for those silver stickers, which when they came out, I was part of the team that just said, these are fucking bunk. You look back, I'd rather have that silver sticker because that it seems to hold the auto a little better in most cases. <clears throat> and this one here is number 25. We had a lot of Pacific this year too. This is the Extreme Limited sort of see that cover there or on the cover on the front it's a prismatic across under his photo number to 45 Omega 2000 here's the premiere date to 77 you're gonna see more of these cards in a bit um, the Shadow series out of 2000 Revolution. And see on, like, by his posterior. 
see that line there? It's almost like a box. Go over his crotchal region, and it's a shadow series in there. Above his name, it's to 99. Then we have, I think I picked up all of the Ultra Platinums through like 01 or 02. And I paid dearly in a couple of them, which I retrospect shouldn't have. I, they're not going to maintain or retain that value. So um, this is a, what is it, 02? 01 Ultra. Platinum to 50. The Omega Copper to 45. Here's the Revolution Red. I just like the red. <coughs> I think Matt from Essential Credentials and his buddy Tyler. They're in that same boat. That red, especially with you getting, because I think. Matt had Ankiel and Tyler had McGuire. Anytime you can get that red with the, the jersey that corresponds, works together, um, it's a win win. And that is 263. Here's the Shadow series from 99 Revolution. And you can see that box right there from his armpit down to about his knee and this one is also a 99 love me some revolution uh platinum blue that's probably my favorite parallel of all pacific cards emerald green would be another one and the emerald it's to 55 this is out of donner's team heroes 03 Two. Nice auto. Eleven of twenty. Here's the ninety seven Ultra Platinum Medallion. There you go, a little shine shimmer there. I think it's very subtle, but it's and then on the bottom too it says Platinum Medallion Edition. And on the back too, it's P. And then the number of the set, 203. <coughs> Here's the 98 Platinum Edition. Let's see if we can pick up this light a little more. So a little there. I like that the more gray sepia sort of tone in that one. That one's of 98. Again, a higher number, but the design for me is more aesthetically appealing. And again, we've got 306 and then P signifying platinum. And I like the stats in the back this way more. You have more of the minor league stuff 2001 premier date pacific the 36 uh donus elite 03 the gold die cut status love the shine on these these used to be such killer cards to get and were one of the top parallels and then <clears throat> like everything else for whatever reason they just sort of they command some value but again you can pick pretty much any of the mid mid tier guys down to the common players for pennies on the dollar i'm sure you'll pay a lot for your ripkins your griffies your ichiros pujols <clears throat> players of that ilk but still I love these these are one of my favorite parallels of all time 
Uh, now we get into some little meteor cards. Not meteor as in outer space, but meteor as in T-bone steaks. Porterhouse. Nice sirline cut. The inverted ref or no, inverted refractor. Inverted regular Bowman's best mirror image. Abreu and Kenny Lofton. Albert Bell and Vladdy Pimp Daddy. Um, insanely tough to get. These are not easy to find. So, happy to pick that, <laughs> that one up. <coughs> and that was one from one of the sellers. The same seller I got a lot of the stuff from. Another premiere date out of Pacific Crown Collection. 27. Thankful those guys must have been off for a week or two because he had a bunch of Pacific stuff and I was able to slay it for five bucks each. I mean, I spent probably like 80 bucks, but I got 14, 16, 16 cards ish, somewhere in there. And again, if they're all numbered to like 99 or less, that's that's a good day. Got this one, I paid a premium on it. Probably over 40 bucks for it. 03 or 05? 05. Um, let's see if we can get the numbering because it's right where his picture is. 14 or 25. Have to lift her up again just to put a feel. A red refractor, 2005 Tops Chrome. Centering is not the greatest. Left to right it goes uh, probably about 60, 40, 65, 35. But for this, you do not find them. I mean, if you do, good luck. I'm, I'm happy I got it. I overpaid. I know that. But again, the red refractor, the Phillies outfit, outfit jersey, uniform. <clears throat> I'm happy. Next one is a 1998 <coughs> Donna Elite. Another, I think, undervalued <coughs> status gold. It might be 97. Let me check. No, 98. Number to 100. <coughs> Again, the Astros chose to collect, collect, keep Richard Hidalgo over Abreu. Again, centering on the back is not great either. Right to left. Chose Hidalgo over Abreu. Hidalgo had an okay career. Abreu has, <coughs> <coughs> fuck, at the very least, a borderline Hall of Fame career. Ninety six select certified mirror red. I got the gold twenty nineteen, I believe. I don't know if I've got the blue. That's the only one I'm I'm very much puzzled on if I've got it or not. So to get the the bread without any print lines, which is huge for me. That's again everybody has their sort of quirks when they look for a card. Mine are print lines and like a refractor. Or a mirror, so. And the final four. Same sellers, all the other Brayus got. He had the refractor, which I got. I got this in the base, I think, for like eighty-ish, which was well under what I wanted to pay for that. I was, I think, I had a hundred ten on this for a max bid. So I gave myself a discount. <clears throat> And then again, Vladdy Pimp Daddy and Bell in the back. Insanely tough to pull. It's Skybox Premium Star Rubies. I think it's 2000.
again, if you had a lighter background, all right, it might be a little better, but that's okay. We got 34.50. So again, it's an iconic parallel of the 90s. Sometimes overhyped. That's fine. Everyone has their own preference. Like Crusades. I love Crusades, but I think the value there that's put on them is insane. When something like this... It went for... I think a skosh over a hundred for the atomic. I was willing to pay, I think, over two hundred for this. So just a gorgeous card. Just one and one you don't see any of the players in that set. You just don't see the inverted. What I mean by inverted for those hobby novices that might come across this video <clears throat> most of the time the more common variation of this card is when the veteran player was where the prospect is the prospect in this because it's 1997 issued card Bobby Abreu and Vladimir Guerrero those are basically the first couple years in the bigs Albert Bell by that time was in the bigs for eight years or so Kenny Lofton was in there for six or so so, that's what I, when I'm saying inverted, that's what I, I mean. And, uh, and if you saw Jose Cruz Jr. there, I'm trying to think of some of these other guys, Desi Relaford maybe. <laughs> <coughs> I think Andrew Jones has one as well. So if you saw him in this big part in like Griffey or Bonds or Bagwell or Thomas, I'm giving away trade secrets, but at the same time, I don't know inform the, the folks in the hobby if you see the veteran players in that little circle that means it's a little <laughs> a little bit more money so just a friendly tip there that's your free free advice should have paid through the discord through the patreon through everything else but i didn't and sort of see what the last one is i had an offer on one <coughs> That was rejected at 125. Oh no, I put 110 or 115. He came up to like 125, and I said, nah. So he, that's still up. That card is still up. And I put like a max of 120 on this. I want to say I want it for like 27. It is. Let's do this again. 1997. Totally certified mirror gold. Which they call the platinum gold. That is serial number to 30. So an absolute monster. This is was my number one. He doesn't have a crusade. Some guys that have a crusade, I don't know why. He doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Um so as much as I sort of lament the popularity of the Crusade, I would have loved to have, uh, especially with the Phillies uniform, the red one. That would have been insane. So, there it is, YouTube. My top 25, asterisk 26. Bobby Abreu acquisitions for 2020. I hope you enjoyed. I again, that's probably going to be my best year for a Brayu ever because I really don't care a lot about the um, retired stuff. If I'm gifted, I love it. Uh, if I can find it at a show, I'll pick it up. It's price right, but the playing every day stuff for him is the key, and I slayed it this past year, so I'm super stoked. So there it is, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed sharing with you. So take her easy. She's easy. Take her twice.